welcome to my channel. If you have been here before, welcome back. It's nice to see you again. We just launched a new topic for this week, and that topic is animals. So I'm going to be drawing all sorts of animals, like zebras, horses, cats, or dogs. Last time, I drew a tiger's head, but today I'm going to be drawing a pug. I don't know about you, but I love pugs. Pugs are so precious, and when they are little, they are just so adorable. So yeah, let's jump into this video and draw a pug. By the way, the pug that I'm going to be drawing is like an old pug. Not old old, but like an adult pug. Um, I am probably going to be drawing a puppy pug sitting down, so um, stay tuned for that video to be coming soon. Okay, so the first thing we want to do when we're drawing the pug face is just a nice straight line that's slanting um, upwards to the right. The reason um, the face is slanting is because um, I want the pug's head to be like kind of cocked to the side. So yeah, just create that straight line at the bottom and then um, create like a curved line that goes up. That's where the nose is going to be. Create another curved line that's going down. That's where the mouth is. And then we're going to create the nose. Add some texture and shade in the nose and make the outlines of the face deeper. Now we're going to create the actual face itself. Make kind of like a curved round face and draw the right ear. Draw the eyes. Draw two huge eyes on either side of the nose and shade it in while still leaving one white part to show the reflection in the eye. Draw all those wrinkles and shades around the eyes and on top where the head is. Okay, so one technique that I like to use when I want to create that hairy kind of feature on the dog's face is just draw little dots all over the face and then lightly shade above it. So then it creates that kind of hairy effect, if you know what I mean.
shade in the ears and under the ears. And now it's time to move on to the pug's body. So we just want to draw a little line connecting from the ear to the end of the page. That's where its back is. A little collar and just a curved line connecting from the bottom of the mouth to the bottom of the page. Add little wrinkles that go down the body to make it look like um, the pug has legs, <laughs> just to add detail. Oops, one more step, I almost forgot. Transform the straight line at the bottom of the pug's mouth into a curved one and shade it lightly. Voila! There we go! The pug drawing. I just made this a pencil drawing with some shading details, but you can add color if you want. You can also add any extra details if you want as well. So you can draw anything. Just check out my channel. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you for bearing at least six minutes with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye!